Now then, Northerner Reviews, here we have the Miranda MS1 Super 35mm camera, I'm going to give a short little review about today. This was one of the first 35mm cameras I bought, I got it off eBay pretty cheap, I think it was around £40. This is a Japanese company, it's been around since I think the first and second world war, it's been around for a long time this company, I'm not sure if they're still producing cameras today. This is a really good manual 35mm camera, so as you can see it's fully manual on every aspect from ISO to the F star camera's got a 50mm lens on there, I've got a little coated filter on there just to make sure that the lens screen doesn't get scratched. Like I said it's a 35mm camera, manual uh, film to put in, you can get different types of film to go into it, black and white and certain different ones. This camera is really really fun to use because it's so simple, you literally put it in, close it up, get it wound and then it's more or less point and shoot. You've got a prism in the middle that allows you to focus the subject and get the correct uh, image type. The focusing is really easy as well. Uh, the camera basically does the majority of the work. As long as you know kind of the basics of photography and what you want to get out of a film camera, this camera is really easy to use. The manual for the camera is on the internet. You can download it from PDF format. The lenses are quite easy to use as it's still got the same connection as a lot of modern lenses or the same lenses are still being used as the attachments. Um, very nice and easy. There's no kind of crunch or you know it's seamless the camera itself considering it is quite old you've got the action button there and how many photographs you've got left on your film once you've kind of completed the full film itself quick wind up take it back inside so it doesn't overexpose to the light take it out and then you can just get it developed from somewhere fine sometimes I do have issues where the image quality is super hipster and super grainy I think that's why I wanted a camera like this it does create great images from sunsets I think are great water reflections of I've captured on this camera have been really really good the battery holder itself because it is so old, you do have to put like sellotape over it because the threading has come away from it. It doesn't, you know, affect the camera whatsoever, it still works absolutely fine. You've even got what I thought worked a timer. It doesn't look like that works, that looks like it's kind of surpassed, but that could be the battery. The battery's flat, oh no, sweet, I think I wound it back too far. That does work, and that'll take automatic photographs if you wanted to take an old school selfie. You can do so on this camera. I did have a strap for this, I've misplaced the strap, it's a very old one, but I do have the case itself, the original case. I'm not sure if this was uh, an extra when purchasing it or whether this would have been standard with the camera itself. Nice little imprint of the logo, Miranda there. I'm not sure if it's real leather. Made in Japan, stated there, as well as the serial number on the bottom of the camera. Made in Japan serial number. So the camera, I'm going to give it an 8.5. It's really, really good. Um, the only issues that I've had is sometimes it's chewed the film that I've got in it. I don't know whether that's because I've put it in incorrectly. Also, the plastic's starting to kind of come away from it. But it's still got the original pass sticker and anything with an old school gold pass sticker means it's more or less good to go. You can get hot shoes, you can get flashes for them, you can get all sorts of stuff for it. Great little nifty camera, fits really nicely in its case. Great to just chuck in a backpack and, and pull out if you're going traveling or anything like that. As well as a digital camera, you don't get as much kind of warmth from the film cameras as you do digital cameras now, apart from a certain few cameras that can digitally superimpose that uh, filter. But yeah, great little camera if you're going to buy a 35 if you're new to photography, just get one, try it, do you know two, three, four rolls, just testing it, just see what you come out with, experiment, and just have fun with it. It's the best part of film photography is the more that you play about, the more likely you are to create something that nobody else has, or just get a style in which you can call your own. Great camera, 